Hello, I am Ronin Pawn, and this is Kerbal Space Program Career Mode, and we are up to Mission 8, are we? I think we're up to Mission 8 already. Oh, we are flying through this, aren't we? No, we're not, actually. It's been it's been quite a drag getting here. But um, we're up to Mission 8. Um, last mission, we went to EVE, and we were very successful. It, it all worked out for us. And we landed a probe on EVE, and we sent back a bunch of data, and we got some more science kit. It was all very good, very good. Very fun indeed. Oh, did we get the... Have I... Have I collected our science? Have I done that? Have I... <laughs> Excuse me, just a moment. Okay, so here we are in the R&D center. Here's the thing, I collected our science, and I spent our science, and so I'm going to show you what I've done. Um, how did I spend a science? I spent a science right here. That's all I did, and as you can see, we got ourselves some wheels! And we got ourselves some wheels, and we got ourselves the external command seat. Yes, I've been waiting for that little bike seat. That enables us to do a whole bunch of really fun things. You'll also be noticing some weird something here, the Curb Pro. I installed a um little pack, a little pack of extra kit, um cameras that I want to. I'm going to have some fun with that at a later date. But so you'll be seeing those. I'm not going to use them in the career mode, but there it is. It it came along with this tier, and I like that. I like that the um the add-ons are um coming in with the rest of the science kit naturally if you're playing in career mode. So here we are, mission eight, and I sort of alluded to the fact that what we were going to do in Mission 8 was, you know, land a man on EVE and, and do all that. And as you can see in our ship, <laughs> in our ship's log here, I've been trying. I've been running test missions and trying to build a ship that would get us to EVE and back. And that's easier said than done, my friends. Much, much easier said than done. In fact, give me just a moment here. I'm going to clean all this up because this is this is unacceptable to my mind. Okay, all those all those extra ships are gone now, and uh, I just wanted to pull up the atom. Let's just take a look at the atom because, as I say, I've been trying to get us to Eve in a ship that could bring us back, and that is proving very difficult for me. I I've never built a ship so big as as to be able to to make it return, and I'm starting to think that maybe we need different parts of kit to do that. And anyway, I've put quite a lot of effort into it, and I feel like I'm no <laughs> closer than, than when I started, so what's Mission 8 then? Mission 8 is going to be another probe mission, and this time we're going to go to Gilly, and we're going to explore Gilly and see if we can't collect some science from Gilly, and that just might enable us to um, get the tiers that we're going to need to build a proper ship that can get us to the surface of EVE and back. So let's get underway doing that. Now, looking at the Atom Mark 1, there isn't really a lot here that I want to steal in concept for a new ship. I think I want to just start from scratch. I'm very, I'm very big on starting from scratch, so let's just do that. This time, we know that we're not going to bring this probe back either. This is going to be another exploratory probe. We know nothing about Gilly, so that being said, shall we use the Stay Putnik? There's that. I have to apologize. You might be hearing some squeaking and some, some weird sounds, and I will occasionally be screaming in anger at my mouse because I've got a new mouse, and it's a wireless mouse, and it's a $10 wireless mouse, and it is just giving me hell. The wireless, I think it's just the fact that it's all of four feet away from, from the receiver, from the USB receiver, and that's just too much for it, so it's going in and out, and it's just giving me all kinds of hell, and it's a squeaky little nasty little thing that I, I'll be getting rid of as soon as I possibly can. This time, we, we're not going to plan, again, we're not planning to return, so I'm not going to make the mistake of um, bringing a bunch of science kit that's redundant. However, I am going to put two si um, goo containers on here just for the weight, just for the balancing the weight, because by the time we get to Gilly, this thing's going to be so small that if we have a serious inconsistency in the weight of it, it's going to make for a, for a problem for us. I'm starting to get the hang of this. I'm actually starting to not have to go, oh, I need some parachutes. Are those over here, or over there, or over there, or over there, or over there? I'm actually starting to pay attention now. It's been a, it's been a long time coming, isn't it, for me to be, oh, you're just starting to pay attention now, are you, Pawn? Good for you. Way to go, mate. So that's our science gathering. That's pretty much it. How about, how about like, like that? 
That should do just fine, except for it looks it looks all wonky. That won't do. Sorry, sorry. Not going to happen. Not on my ship. Not on my mission. Uh, so, gilly, 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 gilly. My love, my dear. Um, you know what? In the last episode, I said, when is this ever going to be of use? So let's make it of use. Let's use it. Let's, let's do something with that. That should be fun. Yeah. Because we want a probe to have just a, just a wee bit of, of its own fuel. That would be nice. So we'll do that, and then that. Oh, that's very pretty. See, now I know. Now I know when and why you would ever use that, because it's very, very pretty. How much fuel does this contain? Um, what? Ten. <laughs> that's a very, very small amount of fuel. So if we're going to do that... That, I'm sorry, we can't do that. We, we just can't. Not the way I fly. Don't be this. Don't do this. Don't, don't, don't. No, no. Bad KSP. Good KSP. Good KSP. You're a good KSP. Come on, mouse. Come on, mouse. Bugger, bugger. We'll put that down here, and then we'll put this up here, and now we've got a nice little long neck goose for a probe. A long neck goose. Um, let's, let's just change these a bit, shall we, um, put them up like that. Yeah, like that. Oh, hey, get back on there, that was the mouse, being wonky. So now we've got a nice little probe to Gilly. Complete, right? It does have everything it needs. Yes. I wonder if Gilly has an atmosphere. <laughs> you never know with these moons. You never know what you're coming down on. Um, hmm. So, uh, to Gilly. To Gilly, everyone. To Gilly. Radial decouplers. Six, 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 six slitted sheets. Six, 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 you know what? We're going to do this in three times, because three times symmetry is our thing. That's what we're into. That's what we love. And this time, I think we're going to do some cross-fueling cross, cross -fueling thingy. That's why we went for three-sided symmetry, because I'm going to feed one tank with the other tank, and then down to the middle, and then we can drop these, you know, three at a time, and in that way be taking less mass as we go. So I'm going to... Come on, mouse. Come on, mouse. There you go. So we've got one tank fueling the other tank, which fuels the middle, and the middle is going to need an engine. Engines are always good when you're trying to go places. So, an engine, one of these, just one, come on, mouse, just one of these, there you are, there you are. So there's our, um, there's our liquid fuel stage, that's the whole kit and caboodle. The whole dilio, right there. And why are you doing that? Don't do that, pawn. Um, just put the, uh, just put the, go back to propulsion, good boy, and then take these and strap them on, strap, strap, just, you stick them on there, stick, no, get them on right. Excellent, you're doing very well, pawn, I'm very proud of you today. And just move this over here, and somewhere, well, no, they need to be more or less the same height, or else, you know, I, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll have a seizure. Um, is that more or less the same height? Yes, it is! Good boy, pawn! Could we tack on another couple of, um, little RCS, uh, thruster blocks here? Just sort of wedge them in here somewheres? Somewheres? I can, I can just barely fit it there. Is that going to fit everywhere, though? If I put that there, there you go. Yeah, now it's going to look really awful, honestly. I don't know if I can deal with that. You know what we could do? Just grab this, this part and spin it a bit. If we spin it like that, how's that? That'll do just fine, and then we just spin these around. You see? You see? Except for that's not right yet, but just just give me a moment. Just give me a moment. What we could do, because we don't need all, all of those, can we just do two-sided symmetry for this? And whoop, right through, just clip right through. And I found the X key. In case you didn't know, if you hit X, you can change your symmetry on the fly. Yes, so... Bink. Yes, and now we've just got two thrusters off to the side like that. They're not clipping anything, and everything looks nice and pretty and symmetrical. I love it. How about some struts? Who wants struts? Anyone for struts? Can we get some struts in the house? Strut is in the house. Baby, baby, strut. That's a song. Someone needs to make that song. Shall I make the song? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> baby, baby, struts. Baby, baby. No, I shouldn't make the song. I'm, I'm rubbish. Come on, mouse, click. I clicked. You can hear me clicking, but it's squeaking instead of clicking. Click. 
Excellent. You are just brilliant, Mouse. I love you. I'm not going to throw you out the second that I can find anything at all that isn't you. Absolutely not, because I'm just so enamored with this experience that you're putting me through right now. What do you think? Can we get to Gilly with this? No, probably not, but we're gonna try! We're gonna try. This will be the most minimal craft that anyone's ever taken to Gilly, um, because there's no way that you're gonna get to it. And we already know that, um, we want the ship that takes our- that takes whichever Kerbin is willing to ride in our pod to Eve, when we go to Eve, when we finally figure that out, that's gonna be the- the Abel. Um, you know, because Abel, and, you know, I'm thinking Cain and Abel from the Bible story, yeah, Adam and Eve's son, um, so this one can be Cain. Um, that's, that's, that's not right. This one can be Cain. The Cain Mark 1, and we will try our best to make sure that Cain does not kill Abel at any time. So this is going to be our, um, unmanned probe to the surface of Gilly. Is it Gilly, or is it Gilly? I think it's Gilly. Like that. Unmanned probe to the surface of Gilly. Um, postscript. Don't kill Abel. Did I spell Abel right? I think in the Bible it's A-B-E-L, it's not A-B-L-E. Not sure, not sure. Just run check your Bibles real quick and leave it in the comments if I'm wrong. So there's the cane, Mark 1, saved and ready to go. What am I forgetting? T you know what? Write it down right now, put it in an envelope, seal it, label it, date it, stamp it, send it to me at P.O. Box, I'm not telling you where I live, and let's go to the launch pad. I know what you were going to tell me, and I haven't even gotten your letter yet. You were going to tell me you forgot to stage the ship, you bloody fool. And you're right, I did. And one of you as well is going up there. Which one? You? Can I have any volunteer? You volunteering? Okay, scrub the toilets. So those four are going to fire to get us started, and then these two will fire later, and then we just do the same thing with the, uh, with the decoupling. Okay, so when we went to Eve, we wasted a ton of fuel. Um, reviewing the data that we collected, <laughs> I noticed on our mission log that we wasted a ton of fuel. We went almost all the way to Moho, just in order to Moho's elliptical orbit, just to get to Eve. And that, that's just silly. We don't need to be doing that. Um, we just need to have Eve in the right place, or Kerbin in the right place, or someone's got to be somewhere in the right place. Now, what I've seen is that, what I've sort of estimated is that Eve spins round about, uh, if, about 180 degrees. She'll be about at the other side of her orbit in the time it takes for us to get to her, um, from when we leave. So that being said, we want Eve and Kerbin to be very near each other, very sort of parallel to one another. Yes, that's what we want, so let's spin the planet around a couple of billion times, shall we? How are we doing? How are we doing? Um... So that's getting better, that's getting better. I don't know exactly where she needs to be, and I don't really want to, like, literally go a year in our world, in our universe. I think I'm going to, though, aren't I? I'm going to go, like, a whole year waiting for Eve to come around to the point that it would make the most sense to leave her. Okay, um, Houston. Houston? Um, can we have ourselves just a plain, simple countdown? Let's not waste everyone's time. Just a nice, easy, sort of, three, two, one thing. Can we get that from you, Houston? Houston. Houston? Houston's not there. I don't know how to take off if Houston doesn't give me a countdown. I... What do we do? Okay, um... Uh... Houston? Okay, what, do you, what does Houston usually say? Hello, Pawn. How are you? Oh, I'm fine, Houston. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing fine. Um, I'm having some coffee in the tower. Oh, that's great. That's great, Houston. Um, can we get ourselves a countdown? Sure, no problem. Uh, T minus three, two. Okay, okay, so now I turn the SAS on and I throttle us up and um, Houston says, Countdown in three, two, one. 
we have liftoff, and it's turning over on you there, Pawn. You better be careful with this one, buddy. Okay, thanks, Houston. I think you're right. I think you're right. What's wrong with this ship? How did I make this all wonky like this? It's flying off to the east, and that's definitely not what we intended to do. How did I get into this bloody situation? It's a good thing it's a light ship, and that, that SAS is good and strong, because I'm fighting it to keep it anywhere near the sky. Oh, bugger. Oh, bugger. Come on, come on, we've just got to survive this first stage. We've just got to not go too far off our mark in the first stage. Oh, we've gone far too far off of our mark in the first stage, and it's all gone to hell. Hello, Space Center. Oh, yes, yes, that's good. That's exactly as I intended it. Yes. Oh, can we stop this? Can we not do this right now? Please, quick. I know what we'll do. Turn the lights on. There we go. Much better, much better. We're all set now. We're all sorted. Everything's doing just fine. So here's the new objective. We're going to... We're going to try and hit the, um hit the tower. We're gonna try and hit the tower as soon as we can, can gain any control whatsoever. That's not gonna happen before we hit the ground, is it? Come on, come on, what are we doing? Come on! Can I zero this roll? No, there's no zeroing this roll. You're done for, you're done for, mate. Yeah, it's good. good thing no one's in the ship. Just you and me here on, on the Ronin Pawn channel, waiting to die now, waiting to die. Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on, save us, save us, save us, save us, save us! No, we can't save us. Ah! The memorial will be held next Thursday. Okay, what went wrong? Why were we all unstable like that? I mean, look at, look at, the symmetry is just fine just fine in every way, so why didn't we go straight up? It's all good, it should all be good, is that? That's a third of the distance away from that, is a third of the distance away from that, is a third of the distance away from that, that's all fine. Why did we, why did we go, go off in a crazy, crazy way? Does anyone have any ideas? Um, I can't think of anything, I don't see anything right off the top of my head. Uh, hey, she, <clears throat> What if we, um, what if we did some extra strutting that I said was completely unnecessary and, and silly and foolish? Well, we've got some extra struts now. Maybe that will do something. Okay, shall we try this again? I really don't, I really don't know what the problem was, so I think it's just going to be the same problem right now. And I don't think that I'm going to bother to to spin the planet around. I think we're just going to have to deal with Eve once we get up there. So, countdown in three, two, one, go. Oh my God! Was it really the struts? Was it really just the struts? Wow! I I can't believe that. I can't believe that that it was just a little bit of wobble. Everything had just a tiny bit of wobble to it, and it pushed us right over and right off of a mark. That's... that's wild. I'm, I'm very surprised by that. Well, anyway, here we are. We are headed into space, headed for Gilly. Do you think we've got enough fuel to get there? What do you think? Do we have enough, um... enough electricity that I could turn on the lights? Yeah, I think we'll be fine with that. Okay, coming to the bottom of this solid fuel stage. Dropping those four, switching to these two, and we lose about uh, seven meters per second. Very good, very good. Not a big difference. Once we drop all that weight, not a big difference at all. That's that's excellent. And we've got a nice bit of lighting here. Yes, we do. Where did I come with this voice? This is just, this is just, just, just stuck in my throat now. This is how Ronan Bond is going to sound for the rest of ever. Oh god, KSP is so bloody gorgeous, isn't it? It almost makes you want to vomit sometimes. Oh, I'm missing my turn, I'm missing my turn. <laughs> we'll just bank down a little extra since I missed my turn. Just a little bit extra. Yes, okay. I'll stop paying attention now and stop talking to you. No, I can't do that. That's a YouTube channel. That would be very... That would be detrimental. We'd lose all of our subscriber. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, Okay, great. 
There you go. Kick those off. Yep. Didn't need that engine. See you later, engine. Have a good time on your mission. We're not going on a mission today. We're going... We're going straight to hell. A very direct route. I think this is maybe just one of those days. It's just one of those days for me. I was trying to build chips earlier that could get us to even back and not having any luck. And now I'm just trying to build a nice little simple thing that can get us out to Gilly and I'm not having any, any luck with that either, am I? Um, so what was our problem last time? Well, I was banking when we dropped the things and that was not good and it didn't help at all. Um, I think we could just run it again or I could put some some of these uh, separatrons on here help us help us sort of move these uh, move these bits away so that they don't do what they did so that they do not do what they did i'm going to switch this up to the cane mark 2 <laughs> don't kill abel Okay, so last time, clearly the problem was that we launched at night. That was, that's always a problem for me. So, um, let's, let's do this, this time in the day. Um, Houston, can we skip all that and just get underway? Yes, we can. Okay, we're up again, up and off, up and off. Yes, yes, yes. And we're nice and stable, and as you can see, I may or may not have installed a few little separatrons to make sure that that doesn't happen again. So, um, yeah, yeah, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna do well this time. I think we are indeed. Yes. We're gonna get straight to Gilly, no more problems, just smooth sailing from here. abso bloody flippin lootly Yes, ooh, that's pretty, that's pretty pretty, isn't it? I like that. Yeah, that's a nice little, that's a nice little, uh, huh? Yeah, almost has solid fuel here. Ready to go, ready to go, ready to go. And away we go. So, what do you think Gilly is like? What do you think's waiting for us upon Gilly? We are the little green men, so do you think there are little not green men up there? Do you think there are little pink skinned men up there that we could meet and talk to and in, in, you know, exchange gifts with and possibly accidentally give them something like cholera or something like that. Do you think we could do that? Oh, I'm sure it'll be just absolutely wonderful. We're going to meet new species and races and I'm sure it's all of that and a uh, bucket of chicken wings. I'm sure. I'm absolutely positive. Ooh, that's kind of pretty as well, isn't it? Yeah, let's take a screen. Uh-oh, we're out of that. Woo! <laughs> Goodbye! Goodbye, Solid Fuel! Goodbye, Rocker Max! Uh-oh, I, I, I wasn't fully throttled up there. Time to turn over! Time to turn over! Okay. Yeah, you know, one of the problems might be me. <laughs> might is not. Oh, look at how high that mountain is off off on the distance. That looks like it's significant. That might be the tallest mountain on all of Kerbin. We might need to explore that, especially since we've got wheels now. We've got wheels now. We've got wheels now. Why isn't this probe on wheels? Who's flying this mission? God, what a fool. We've got wheels and we've been waiting for them. We could have we could have been on Gilly and just been rovering all over the place. Oh god. You people, you 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 just don't help me a bit and I need a lot of it. What what is going on here? No, no. We just want that camera. Thank you. Okay, okay. I'm gonna bank down now. I'm gonna bank us down. There we go. And where are we? How's our Apple apps? We'll just go right through the planet. No need to spin. We'll just go right through the bloody planet. Apple apps of 40,000. How is our fuel holding out? We've been burning for too long. I should have dropped something by now, shouldn't I have? Nope, nope. We're still good. Still good. Okay, gonna bank us down a little more. I think I need to be over here. No, no, we might just make it to our... No, we're not going to make it all the way up there uh, before we need to drop these, so we'll just sit here and wait. We'll just sit here and wait patiently. Come on, come on, come on, and, and, goodbye. Oh, don't you love how they just jumped right off? 
And now we're pushing out. Good. Yes, yes. I think I need more. I don't I don't want to spend as much as fuel as I am right now. Come on, let's just get up to 70,000, please. This is very nice in the way of circularizing, but we we're, we're only circularizing so that we can get our our encounter with Gilly. So please, please more more height, if you will. If you won't, then go away. We don't need you. Um, hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, just a bit more, just a touch more. There you go. That'll do just fine. How much fuel have we got left? We've got, well, more than half of, uh, more than half of all of that. So that's, uh, like, 339 units of liquid fuel still just in those tanks. And then we've got the middle column, so we've got quite a bit of fuel. I don't know if we can get anywhere with it, but we're going to give it our best. Aren't we? Yes, we are. We're going to give it our best. We're going to give it our all. Come on, right up to the Apple Apps now. And we will circularize, and then we will head for Gilly by way of Eve. In fact, I wonder if we should try and use the moon to give us a kick so that we can save a little more fuel. That would be good, but it requires you to have the moon in the right place, and you to have someone who, who knows what they're doing. That's always helpful. That's always helpful. We should get one of those here on the channel. One of those people who knows what they're doing. I wonder how much those cost. How, how, how much... How much money would it, would it cost to get someone who knows what they're doing over here to run the channel for me? Any volunteers? Any takers? You know, I, I will consider a reasonable offer. Hey, 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 yes! Boom! That was a beautiful, beautiful circularization. That's the best circularization I've ever done, I think. And it's because I wasn't paying too much attention. <laughs> yes, so we circularized around... Oh, get out of this mode. It's all laggy out over at Kerbin. So now that we're circularized, what are we going to do? So there's the sun, and we want to go to the left of the sun um, in order to get over there to Eve. Let's go ahead and set... Ooh! I clicked Gilly right on the first. Well, that is just some kind of a, some kind of a, a, a. It's a, it's a, it's one of those things that's good fortune. It's good luck that that happened. That that's telling us that we are destined for greatness here. I didn't just quick save or anything. I have complete confidence in us and our ability to do exactly what we're about to do. So the moon's going to be a little late for us to to try and grab a gravity kick from her, but we could use a little bit of a kick. We could get her for just a little. Bit as soon as she comes around, as soon as she comes around the edge of Kerbin, we could try this. I've never really tried this before, so I'm not gonna quick save again. Definitely not, because I didn't do it the first time, so why would I do it again? Um, let's go to a prograde and fire like Charles Darwin. Fire like the Darwin. There we go. Push that out and see just what comes of all that, because the sun is over there, so we're heading in more or less the right direction. And if we can just sort of scrape by the moon, then maybe we can kick up, pick up a little bit of a gravity kick without having her um, screw up our trajectory too much. We're getting near the moon's um, plane now, so let's slow down and see what we can get. See what little extra boost we can get from her. Uh, if we come down on that side, she's really going to um, she's really going to screw us, basically. So let's try. Are we gonna just have to go right past her? I think we're probably just gonna have to go right past her. Yeah, yeah, we are. We're gonna have to say, never mind, Moon. Never mind. Never mind. We 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 can't use you. We can't use you at all. No. Nope. Goodbye, Moon. Goodbye. Oh wait, wait. That might be helping. No, that's not helping at all. Nope. Goodbye, Moon. Never mind you. Never mind you. What about you? Can we get you? Can we get a kick from you, um, um, Min Minmus? No, no. We can't get a kick from you either. Let's just leave Kerbin's gravity well. How are we doing on fuel now? How are those tanks doing now? Oh, we're getting very near the bottom of them. Very near the bottom of them. I think we're gonna end up dragging that weight all the way to Gilly, or not, or not. Yep, and just burn, 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 burn. Oh, we've hit the moon again. Blotty, blotty, blotty. Is that going to help us or hurt us? Is she going to give us something or take something away? At these speeds, she's just going to take something away. You, you evil little thing. Um, hmm, what if I fire down here? Can I get us to turn a little bit away from her? Uh, can I? No, it's not going to help, is it? Is it? 
Come on. Yes, it is. It is. I can do this. I can do this. I can get rid of it. I can get rid of it. Goodbye, moon. There. <laughs> now how are we doing on fuel? Now how are we doing on fuel? Still got a little fuel in those tanks. Not worth dropping them yet. Um, let's just escape. Let's just run out toward the sun now and see where I've put us in my with my wild ways. With my wild, unkempt ways. And... Oh, the music was a little early. The music was a little early. Okay, okay, so we are out of Kerbin's sphere of influence now. We are we are purely purely relative to the sun, and look at that. Would you look at that? We're already into um Gillies. This is I did that perfectly and I didn't even know what I was doing. <laughs> so how do we get how do we get a nice encounter with her is is a good question.